what's up youtube what's up extreme gains family i'm chuck this is extreme gains i am not a financial advisor nothing i say is or ever will be financial advice please do not take it as such today's thursday july 21st 2022 and this is my amc gme and spy elgo exposed daily update and preparation video for tomorrow and beyond tgiff tomorrow and beyond as always i hope you all had a great day in the market today i hope you took advantage of the volatility and i hope you were able to make some extreme gains for yourselves i'm gonna go over all my regulars my snake elgo method for all three tickers and some macro comparatives so with that said let's dig in hey real quick a shout out to all of you that showed up in the comments of last night's update and prep video thank you all very much congratulations y'all holy shit congrats on all the extreme gains yesterday from the live stream people and those of you that commented that weren't a part of the live stream but checked in and out real quick and made some extreme gains as well congrats to you as well it was awesome to get up this morning and read through those i called it the cesspool of success that's something i call it in our discord server as well and it was really cool to see congrats to everyone and for the record it would not hurt my feelings at all if y'all decided to do that on every single video let me know how you're doing i let you know how we did uh, i loved getting up and reading those this morning and it would serve two purposes we'd be able to communicate like that obviously and then possibly we could contribute to the YouTube algorithm I doubt it maybe they'll start recommending my videos to other retail investors that have not yet discovered me or my content and that would help greatly that actually does matter I mean I go through the analytics there's anywhere between 1500 and 2000 people that come to watch every single one of these videos every single night and less than 1% of you hit the like button let alone leave a comment listen man it takes two seconds to do that and it makes a big difference it is a quick way to show thanks and gratitude for the video i would greatly appreciate it. if you don't like it leave a thumbs down i don't give a shit leave a shill or a troll comment they're there anyways i don't care just interact with the video it literally takes two seconds i would greatly appreciate it and it'd be really cool to get up and read that every morning so if you do great if you don't no worries no sweat don't worry about it it's all good we're just going to keep rolling the way we have been for the last what nine months now so all right the extreme gains discord premium discord family had another out of the park day today unbelievable as a matter of fact general did as well i've seen it from a few general members that knocked it out of the park as well so the premium and the general discord family combined had another absolute bonkers day again today it's just been an unbelievable month really uh unbelievable day unbelievable week and unbelievable month everybody's stringing together just extreme gains uh across the board and it's been absolutely surreal and i love it i will never stop giving props and saying congratulations and i will never stop being amped up about it because this is exactly what this is all about so congrats to everybody and for everyone in the extended family outside of the discord out here in youtube land i hope y'all were able to do something similar and make some extreme gains for yourselves all right, my scalp setups on the seven tickers that I set up every single day. They provided 18 separate entries from Trigger today, the highest ROI being 140%. And then from there, literally a slew of them, 18 of them, well, 17 minus that one, and anywhere from 50% or 60% down to 10% to round out that list for the day. Uh, absolutely grateful and happy for those as always. I had another personal monster day today. I flipped my entire portfolio again today in the first probably 20 minutes of the market. I played a uh, straddle scalp today and I hit green on both sides of the straddle today on SPY for a 40% portfolio increase. Unbelievable day uh, for me as well. And I hope you did as well. All right, moving on to the charts on your screen is AMC five minute on your left spy five minute on your right this is my micro intraday snake on both of them for today as you can see 
absolutely knocked it out of the park these things were so stupid accurate today as you can see just unreal another great day from that perspective as well i did tweet those out and post them up on twitter if you have not seen that yet go check that out and while you're there too leave a like or a comment show some love on the tweet as well i would greatly appreciate it moving on to the intraweek snakes on your screen is amc amc finished the day today down 2.97 percent currently down 0.35 percent in after hours trading at 1694 all right to keep things moving here because i talked a little bit too much in the beginning these are the three potential intraweek snakes that i've been looking at this one here has been the ongoing one for the last four sessions that will lead and take this into next tuesday for the interchanging to potentially get back on track the other two are the day of which is the red or the, i'm sorry the day prior to which is the red the day of divergence which is the green and that is if this is in the extent the previous snake is in the extended version here's all three of them on here at once to keep things moving they all three projected this in its entirety to the upside today for that hit off of the macro descending resistance and the rejection back downside all three literally almost candle for candle and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what characteristics of movements within the price action i'll be looking for to obviously deem which one it is moving forward keep in mind the green one here is in the mirrored position because the straight up position it did not line up uh candle for candle with its overlap so the only way for me to use this was in the mirrored position so mirrored position day of divergence uh, straight up position of the day prior to divergence and this is the one from the compressed version that we have been uh tracking and it's been projecting and fulfilling for the last four days that is everything that i'm looking for going into tomorrow and beyond from the interweek snakes on amc then the macro comparative for amc as you know i have been using the previous double bottom right next door over here in both the straight up position which is the red which is now mirrored uh two weeks ago and the flipped position here is the flip position on here and you can see the projection and fulfillment from it previously and up into today obviously we hit off of that macro descending resistance it came back downside you can see in this position specifically the projection would have to be back upside unless this is going to somewhat invert mirror this to the downside like this like it is projecting upside and then we converge back with it after it were to do that so that is what i'm looking at with the flipped position of the macro comparative the straight but mirrored macro comparative I had to mirror this two weeks ago when that second bottom did not breach the ascending level of support to the downside. We bounced off of it, went upside, mirrored it there. We have gotten continuous projection and fulfillment out of it since then and had it previously as well in moments when I had to mirror it. And you can see that it fulfilled its projection dead on candle for candle today. So you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if this is the macro comparative and what that projection may look like if price action were to continue to fulfill it excuse me that is everything i have for g or for amc up next is gme gme finished the day today down 3.33 percent currently down 0.32 percent in after hours trading at 152.98 the current intro week snake is what is on your screen now you can see its projection fulfilled candle for candle today and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what the projection is if price action were to continue to fulfill it this is the day of divergence i showed you in last night's video the day prior to divergence i had only used one because they were both essentially the same until we got out to a certain point we're there now here's the day prior to divergence and you can see it fulfilled as well and what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond then the macro comparative like amc has been from the previous double bottom most recently in the mirrored position and in the mirrored position there was its position and the projection and fulfillment of it 
and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what the projection may be if price action continues to fulfill the macro comparative on gme then last but not least spy spy finished the day today up 1.02 percent currently down 0.34 percent in after hours trading at 397.44 now the intro week snakes i have two different scenarios going on here as well because the two previous the day of and the day prior to continued to project and fulfill the exact same thing identically up until yesterday and what happened yesterday was the day prior to divergence price action diverted from it with a continuation to upside that i had talked about the day prior to that happening as it being a potential upcoming continuation of movement and that's exactly what happened we have the macro w here in the macro box top setup the neckline here that broke with the ascending level of support and the descending level of resistance resistance price action has now breached that it has pulled back on top of it for a retest and then it confirmed that movement with a continuation to upside today spy is looking super strong from that perspective so with that being expired i clipped a new day of and day prior to divergence the green is the day prior to the red is the day of and i showed you this two days ago if this were to take over what that may look like and there is where i believe the placement belonged and you can see it has now projected and fulfilled candle for candle the last what with one day overlap so that's one day and then two days of actual projection and fulfillment and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what the projection is if price action were to continue to fulfill that day prior to in this scenario then i have the day of divergence which was yesterday and i clipped yesterday's movements for after the indicator and it projects the same thing with a one day overlap the exact same thing to a certain extent that the day prior to does and you can see it fulfilled its projection candle for candle so far today and you can see moving forward stay there what the projection is if price action were to continue to fulfill it in this position I want to put both of them on here to show you where the divergence from the two of them is if price action were to continue to fulfill them right here and then the separation it may get nuanced but this is mirrored of each other so i don't think it's going to be able to hang a hat on it with that in uh mirrored inversion area there i think it becomes out here which looks and appears to be potentially the what is that the 25th potentially monday afternoon or tuesday morning is where that shows up if price action continues to fulfill those potential upcoming intraweek snakes in this scenario then the other scenario was the day of divergence from the previous divergence and snake and in its straight up position this was the position and we have continued upside i did say that if price action did that i was going to give it a little bit of wiggle room before i had to invalidate it literally within the one, next one possibly maybe two four hour candles it has to make a very very hard move back downside to stay relevant in this scenario if not i will be invalidating this and the scenario that i will be attempting to hang my hat on will be the first one that i just showed you so that is that second scenario with the intraweek snakes on spy the macro comparative that I have had on here for quite some time is from the 0809 correction and crash in the long term version and placement. And in this position, likewise, it was projecting a consolidation period up here, which we have now gotten, and then a downside, a rejection, and downside move. I said in the video last night around the 398 would be the level that I'd want to see a rejection from there. Anything north of that and or north of 400 would be considered invalid at this point and diverted from as far as I'm concerned. So right now it's still borderline in play as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, like 
the other entry week snake it would need to show a hard downside move and a convergence back with this for a continuation of fulfillment and obviously that's the next leg down according to it in this position if it does not do that then i will be reevaluating the macro comparative and it's positioning all together moving forward and hopefully have something uh regarding that um, one way or the other for the weekly update and prep video that i release on sunday afternoon so that's everything i have for this video and that's everything i have for amc gme and spy if you made it to the end of the video thank you all very much i greatly appreciate it i will not have an update and prep video out tomorrow night it is friday the next one like i said will be released on sunday afternoon for the weekly update and prep to get ready for the next upcoming week next week hey listen good luck in the markets tomorrow make some extreme gains for yourselves and if i don't talk to you enjoy your weekend kick back relax breathe get ready get refreshed for another crazy week next week and i will talk to you all on sunday if not tomorrow take care enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll talk to you all then later